Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. In today's video, we're taking a look at two stocks that analysts from Raymond James think could grow over 50%. So we're gonna take a look at what these companies do and what other analysts are saying as well. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. We always love hearing from you guys. Okay, now let's get right into this first company. We'll be starting off with the stock Pure Storage. They trade under the ticker PSTG, currently priced at $19.16 per share. Pure Storage is a company in the memory chip industry. The company makes solid state flash drives and offers memory storage as a service fit for a wide range of uses from desktop virtualization, cloud computing, high performance computing, server and database use. Pure Storage delivers a modern data experience that helps customers put data to use and allows them to run their operations as a true automated storage as a service model seamlessly across multiple clouds. They boast over 9,000 global customers, and those customers include about 49% of Fortune 500 companies. And in the Q1 of their fiscal 2022 quarter, they had about 15% customer growth, seeing about 330 new customer additions in that first quarter. Last year, Pure Storage acquired Portworks in a deal worth about $370 million. This past May, Pure Storage announced the release of Portworks Enterprise 2.8, a new storage product with integrations across the range of Pure Storage's product and service portfolio. The announcement marks the full integration of the new acquisition. Now, the company typically sees their best quarterly results in the Q4, with a dip going into Q1, and this year was no exception. Their first quarter revenue of $412.7 million was down from $502.7 reported in Q4. Year over year, however, their Q1 top line was up over 12%. The company typically runs at an earnings per share loss. In Q1, the $0.30 cent loss reported was less severe than the $0.34 cent loss reported a year ago. The solid quarterly results were driven by a rise in subscription revenues, which gained 35% year-over-year to reach $162.8 million. They say that they are confident in opportunity, long-term strategy, and continued momentum in Q2 and beyond. Raymond James analyst Simon Leopold covers the Pure Storage stock. He says that Pure generates cash, which should separate it from the crowd. We remain optimistic that the lower-priced Flash Array C, Flashblade, and Portworks enable Pure to gain market share and maintain at least mid-teens sales growth. As he said, Pure generates cash, which makes it stand out within the growth crowd. Pure generated nearly $100 million of free cash flow in 2020, and we forecast nearly $200 million over the next two years. The balance sheet is healthy with $1.25 billion of cash and net cash near $500 million. Simon rates the stock a buy, and his $31 price target would represent growth potential of over 61%. Now, there are seven other analysts that have ratings on the pure storage stock. And it seems that they agree. The stock comes in as a strong buy based on six buy ratings and two holds. The average price target is $27.50, which would be upside potential of about 43%. And Simon's buy rating isn't actually the highest on our list here. We do have a recent rating from Susquehanna at $33, which would actually be a 72% upside potential. Our lowest are our hold ratings, but they still come in with an upside of over 14%. Second on our list is a company that many homeowners are probably familiar with. That is Scott's Miracle Grow. They trade under the ticker SMG and are currently priced at $195.31 per share. Scott's is a multinational corporation that is specialized in lawn, garden, and pest control products for the consumer market. The company's brands include Scott's, miracle Grow, Ortho, and Roundup, and their products range from bird and grass seed to topsoil and sod to fertilizer and weed killers. They've been working to revolutionize product solutions that fill gardeners' needs since 1868. Each year, they invest more than $30 million in research and development, and their team of experienced scientists continually search for new or better solutions to help gardeners and growers succeed. This ranges from organics and naturals to horticulture lightning and hydroponic nutrients. 
At the beginning of this month, they increased their 2021 overall guidance. This is due to continued strength in both their U.S. consumer and Hawthorne segments. They're now expecting company-wide sales growth of 17 to 19 percent. The revision is due mainly to stronger growth in the U.S. consumer segment, where the company now expects sales growth of 7 to 9 percent, compared with its previous range of 4 to 6 percent. Hawthorne sales also continue to exceed expectations, as the company now expects sales growth of 40 to 45 percent for the full year, compared to previous guidance of 30 to 40 percent growth. Their most recent earnings report came out in May. They reported $1.83 billion at the top line. This was up 32% year-over-year and bodes well for the company's full-year results as the second and third fiscal quarters are coming up, which are their spring and summer months, which are typically their strongest. Their earnings for fiscal Q2 reached $5.43 per share, up 21% from the year-ago period. Weighing in from Raymond James, we have analyst Joseph Altabello. And he sees Scott Miracle Grow's current valuation as offering an attractive entry point for investors. While we still have much of the season and very tough compares in front of us, valuation remains very attractive on a sum of the parts basis. He says that his rating is based on their view that the stock offers continued compelling value. This reflects the significant increase in lawn and garden participation last year that appears sustainable and should drive further gains in U.S. consumer, as well as continued rapid growth for Hawthorne amid a favorable backdrop for cannabis regulation in the U.S. He rates the stock a buy, and the price target of $305 would represent a 56% upside potential. Now, there are just two other analysts that have ratings on the Scott's Miracle Grow stock, and they also come in with a buy rating. All three rate it a buy, and the average price target comes in at $301 for a 54% upside potential. Joseph's rating is the highest, but not by too much. The two other price targets come in at $300, which would still be a 53% growth potential. So there are two stocks that Raymond James analysts think are gonna soar over 50%. That is some pretty attractive upside potential for this next year. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on these two companies. Were they on your radar already? And what do you think about their growth potential? Please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for information and entertainment purposes. Please always do your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. If you made it all the way to the end here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you back here next time.